every building hides secrets. Some are buried deep, while others lie just behind a door, waiting for someone brave or foolish enough to uncover them. This is the story of one such door, a dark door. Emma had just moved to a new city, leaving behind everything she once knew. Her past was filled with pain and regret, memories she preferred to forget. This apartment, she thought, would be her fresh start, a place where she could finally escape the shadows that haunted her. It was small, old, and the rent was affordable, exactly what she needed. As she unpacked her belongings, she noticed it for the first time. At the end of the dim hallway stood a large, dark door. It felt out of place, much older than the rest of the apartment's fittings, its surface worn and cracked. The landlord hadn't mentioned it, and when she'd inquired about storage space, he simply shrugged and changed the subject. Emma assumed it led to some unused part of the building, but still, a nagging feeling tugged at her, a sense of foreboding that made her skin crawl. The first night in the apartment was uneventful. The wooden floors creaked and the wind outside whistled through the cracked window frames. But it was quiet, the kind of peace Emma needed. As she lay in bed, she felt the tension of the past few months begin to ease from her shoulders. She drifted off, content in the silence. But that silence didn't last long. A soft sound woke her. At first, Emma thought she was dreaming, but as she blinked into the darkness, the tapping continued. It was slow and rhythmic, faint but persistent, coming from somewhere down the hallway. She lay still, listening, her heart beginning to race. It was unmistakable now. It was coming from behind the dark door. She sat up, straining to hear. The tapping seemed too deliberate to be a pipe or the wind. No, it was something else. Her mind raced through possibilities. Maybe it was a mouse or perhaps the building settling in the cold night air. Emma tried to push the thought aside, telling herself she was being ridiculous. But the tapping lingered in her mind long after it had stopped, like a distant echo she couldn't shake. The next day, she stood in front of the dark door, studying it more closely. The air around it felt different, colder, heavier, as if the door itself held something back. She touched the handle lightly, half expecting it to burn her skin, but it was just cold metal. The door didn't budge, locked, she thought. She wasn't curious enough to ask the landlord for a key. Not yet. That night, the tapping returned. It was louder this time. The sound was steady, deliberate, like someone was knocking from the other side, waiting to be let out. Emma pulled the covers over her head, trying to block out the noise but the sound seeped into her bones, echoing in her skull. What was behind that door? The question gnawed at her, growing louder with every passing night. A few days later, she was heading to bed when something caught her eye. The dark door, was it slightly ajar? She hadn't touched it since the first night, and she was sure it had been closed. But now, just barely, it seemed cracked open. A shiver ran down her spine. She approached it slowly, her heart pounding in her chest. Just as she reached out, the door slammed shut with a loud bang. Emma jumped back, gasping, her skin crawling. Was someone in there? She raced back to her room, soft locking the door behind her, her mind spinning. That wasn't possible. No one else had access to the apartment. She tried to convince herself it was a draft or maybe a trick of the old building. But deep down, she knew better. The following night, the tapping returned. But this time, it wasn't alone. Then, a whisper faint, barely audible, but unmistakable. Emma froze in her bed, her breath catching in her throat. She couldn't make out the words, but it was as if someone or something was speaking just on the other side of the door. She strained to listen, but the voice was too soft, too distant. Then the tapping grew louder, more frantic. Tap, 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 tap. It was faster now, more urgent. Emma felt a wave of nausea wash over her. She had to know what was behind that door. She couldn't take it anymore. Grabbing a torch, she made her way down the dark hallway, each step heavier than the last. The air around the door was colder than she remembered, the chill sinking deep into her skin. Her hand trembled as she reached for the handle. This time, it wasn't locked. The door creaked open slowly, the sound echoing through the hallway. She shone the torch into the darkness beyond. The beam flickered, casting long, jagged shadows on the walls. For a moment, all she could see was emptiness, an endless void of black. The smell of damp and decay filled her nostrils, making her stomach turn. She took a step closer, squinting into the darkness. 
And then she saw it. A figure stood at the far end of the room, just beyond the reach of the light. Its form was barely visible, shrouded in shadows, but she could see its eyes, gleaming, unblinking, staring right at her. Emma stumbled back, slamming the door shut. Her breath came in short, panicked gasps, her heart racing. She pressed her back against the door, as if her weight alone could keep whatever was inside from getting out. But the tapping didn't stop. It was louder now, more insistent, like something was desperately trying to break through. The door shook with each impact, the walls vibrating with the force. Emma ran to her room, locking the door behind her, but the banging continued, growing more violent with each passing second. The whispers returned, louder this time, filling the air around her. She pressed her hands to her ears, trying to block out the sound, but it was no use. The whispers seemed to come from everywhere, from the walls, the floor, even inside her own head. Her vision blurred as panic set in. Was she losing her mind? She curled up on her bed, trembling, waiting for the sounds to stop. But they never did. The next morning, everything was silent. The dark door stood at the end of the hallway, as if nothing had happened. But Emma knew better. Whatever was behind that door was still there, waiting. And now, it knew she had seen it. Days passed, and the tapping became a constant presence. It followed her everywhere, an unrelenting rhythm that echoed in her mind. She stopped sleeping, too afraid of what might happen if she let her guard down. The whispers grew louder, more distinct, but still, she couldn't make out the words. She stood in front of the door once more, her hand hovering over the cold handle. She knew she should leave, pack her things and run, but something kept her there, rooted to the spot. The tapping had stopped, replaced by a heavy silence. Slowly, she opened the door once more. The figure was closer this time, standing just a few feet away. Its eyes were empty, hollow, yet somehow full of rage. Emma took a step back, but it was too late. The door slammed shut, trapping her inside the darkness. 